Terror. Church. Yeah. We're, yeah. Oh, oh, it is. Uh huh? Oh, well. Cool. My bad. I got uh, just a couple more packages and they'll be out of here. Right you know. on. Okay, yeah. good deal. Gotta do my job. Good deal. Zaria. Mike Fields. Oh, there you are. Got a package for you. Here you go. I just need you to. Will you sign here for me, please? Uh, initial there. Initial here again. Sign way up here. And way down here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wrong invoice. This is for a Dawn Fields. I'm sorry. All right, will you just give me one signature there, please? All right, it says here it's a, uh, a grace package. It looks like you'll really need this. How to live with Mike Fields and other adventures in life. So, uh, here you go. Right. Looks like you'll really yeah, need that yeah, one. Yeah. Well, oh no. Oh well, they just say fragile. It's not really that big of a deal. Oh well. Okay, let's see. I think that's it. Wait, wait, wait. Jan Leary. Is there no Jan Leary in the house? She's down here. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Well, um, I got a package for you. The, the Lord sent it to me. He said that you had nine kids, so you'll really need this. It's uh, one night of peace and quiet without the kids, just for you. Cool. All right, well, see you all later. You've all been great. Give Taylor a hand. Will you do that, guys? The highly caffeinated delivery guy. We'll wrap it all up with these last two verses here. Go to Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. Philippians chapter 2, uh, yeah, verse 2. Verse 13, chapter 2, verse 13, it says this, For it is God who works in you to, uh, to will and to act according to his good purpose. You know, as believers, I really think it's so important that we get our brain around God has our best interest at heart, genuinely. God has our best interest there. It is God who works in us. It is God to take care of his good pleasure in each of us to make sure that what happens is for his will. And I think on the screen we have the amplified version of that that I'd love to uh, re have you guys read along with me. It says this, Not in your own strength, for it is God who is all the while effectually at work in you, energizing and creating in you the power and desire both to will and to work for his good pleasure. I love the amplified version because it lets us know that it's his creativity in us. It's his, um, even his energizing us that gets us closer to accomplishing his work in our lives. There's a lot that we do that doesn't work, but there's a lot that happens that when God touches our lives, it works. It works. He's got our best interest at heart. And you know, the Apostle Paul found that um, in his ministry. He understood the power of grace in his life and in his ministry. And you don't have to turn there, but in Colossians chapter 1, verse 28 and 29... It says this. This is Paul writing. It says, and we proclaim him, meaning Christ. We proclaim him. We're admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom so that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. So to this end, I labor, or to this goal, I labor, struggling with all his energy, which happens to be so powerfully at work in me. Paul was giving us an insight into his life. Paul was saying, I've got a goal in ministry. I'm going to present when I stand, when I stand at, at, at the foot of, of, of Christ's throne in heaven, that I will give an account for every choice I made in ministry. That when I stand in front, I'm going to present all of these folks perfect. I've done my job. I've given them the truth. When they receive the truth, they stand, made, made, they stand before him made right in righteousness, in Christ's righteousness. And he goes, but I'm smart enough to know it was all his strength. It was all his ability. It was all his working in me that makes that possible. And so I, I want to do something somehow to have kind of this weight be lifted off of folks 
I want to have that message somehow to, to be able to kind of pull those that, that stress and that strain off of folks and to somehow insert into them the understanding Lord it's you who gives me the desire and the ability to do your will it's you who does it it's you who does it so as we start going into this series on grace I want you to come with an open heart I'm going to give you a little homework I want you to go read even several times Romans chapter 5 over the course of the week I want to challenge you to have that be your place of meditation and study over the course of the next week. 